most of this makes no sense whatsoever. People have got to be held accountable for their own actions. IMPD Chief Randall Taylor admits 2021 has been a difficult year for crime in Indianapolis. The city shattered its all-time homicide record, which now sits at around 270. Now, looking ahead to 2022, IMPD has plans in place to hopefully reduce the violence. Today, Fox 59's Jesse Wells spoke with Indy's police chief about how the city can change those numbers in the new year. IMPD plans to spend millions of dollars upgrading technology in the new year, but that won't prevent the kind of shootings that damage this car and cost two people their lives overnight at this apartment complex. The police chief says that's where the public needs to play a role in reducing the violence. Police believe a dispute between family erupted in gunfire on Meridian Hills Court, leaving one man dead on a sidewalk. A second victim died after being rushed to the hospital. One of those victims hid behind this bullet-riddled car. Their death increased the record-breaking number of homicides this year to 271. Most of this makes no sense whatsoever. IMPD Chief Randall Taylor admits 2021 has been a difficult year. If you combine homicides and non-fatal shootings, more than 1,000 people were shot in Indianapolis this year. I could put an officer on every street. Uh, and if someone is determined that they're going to shoot someone for some ridiculous reason, that's probably going to happen. Looking ahead to 2022, the city plans to add hundreds of public safety cameras and license plate readers in high crime areas, as well as implement a pilot program for a gunshot detection system. But the chief points out technology alone won't save lives. Yeah, technology will help us. It'll, it'll get us to places quicker, but I would much rather you uh, decide not to pull triggers and pull knives. That's why organizers with Ceasefire Indy are asking everyone to do their part and celebrate the start of the new year responsibly without gunfire or violence for 72 hours. We all have a part too, so it's it's not just me and him, it's not just police officers, it's everyone, every resident that lives in Indianapolis, we all have a part. This is not a police only issue. People have got to be held accountable for their own actions. In addition to the work being done by IMPD, the city also plans to spend $30 million on mental health programming and hire 50 community-based peacemakers in the new year. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. There have now been two